Hi guys, and welcome back to a new episode of, or actually, a new game called The Monk Trees. And uh, let's just start the new game. Bang, Zen or Standard. There are a few dangerous animals for all best around gaming experience. No dangerous. If, uh, okay, let's go to Standard. Okay, normal, and let's get started. This is actually a pretty good game. I played it a little bit uh, off camera to just uh, kind of know what's needed. And we will see, come on. This is the, it's actually very early access game, it's pre-alpha. So, not that much content, but there is enough to spend a few hours of gameplay. However, when I played uh, off camera, I just noticed that my, the main issue is actually the, uh, the backpack, the inventory, it's way too low. So, first of all, we need to actually get all the plants and all the sticks we can get our hands on. And this is some mushrooms we can eat. This one you can't eat, but you can cook it. This is eatable, so we need a lot of plants and uh, sticks so we can uh, repair this uh, little hut over here. Okay. Those mushrooms, you can eat them, but later on we're gonna cook them, because it's uh, better to cook them. We're gonna get uh, way more uh, uh, food, if you cook the food, the mushrooms. Okay, I think, I think I should have enough. Okay. Let me see how many... We still need like two more sticks. So one is here. And let's find another one. Another one is right here. Great! I think we have all we need. Okay. Build. Got it! Now we have our little small hut. It's small but you can expand it. You're gonna expand it a lot. And my next uh, objective is this one. Let's save the progress. Then we have a storage box in which we can move that one because and that one too. I'm gonna keep only these ones for now. Save the progress and then let's go for more farming and looting. Looting actually. There is a site in here, actually it's right here, from which we can uh, collect some uh, some stuff. There are some crates but uh, we're gonna need some uh, knacks and the lockpick in order to open those. See, we need lockpick and for this one we need the knacks. So, we just have to unlock the... The main objective is to unlock the freaking... Uh, crafting bench, you know? Those pipes, I mean... Don't screw up with the pipes, I mean keep the pipes because you are gonna need them. Need a lot of them. All the rags, from the rags you can make some uh, bandages, uh, health packs, actually, using two rags, but you also need them for other things. Okay, some of the things doesn't stack that much, like uh, the seeds, they only stack in one at a time, and that's pretty damn bad. Okay, there is another crate over here, but we need that. We need the axe. Hopefully, we're gonna have enough to 
unlock the storage room, maybe, so we can craft the axe. The there is also a storage room, but uh, I want to open the to unlock the crafting room actually. This is my seed. Those ones that doesn't stack up, and that's extremely bad. So we need uh, some uh, stamp moss or something like that moss. It's called. So we need to find that in order to open this uh, storage. I think there is some on the other side, as far as I can remember. So let's get rid of these guys from uh, our inventory, including the racks, including that. Uh, I'm gonna keep this the stick low. Right clicking you move the entire stack. With the uh, regular stick you only move like one at the time so we need uh, this stamp mousse and we also need more planks I only got seven but I know what I need to do further away there are quite a few places in which you can uh, loot uh, some stuff there is this one over here I discovered like five or six of them even maybe even more of them and you're gonna find some blueprints for some of your stuff and in order there are three backpacks the one that I have has like I guess 12 slots the next one 14 and the biggest one has uh, 16 at the moment that's all you can get but in order to make the better backpack, you need uh, some fish bones. And uh, okay, that's a dangerous animal, I guess. Those things usually have that moss. See, stump moss. Great. I need only one more. If I can find another one, that will be. Because you only need two of them. Oh, my stomach. I need to eat, so in order to eat, do it like that. Bang, we are now full. And also, the stamina is kind of fully recovered. This is a very, very good uh, looking game. You can take that using an axe, that's uh, honey. sure or, uh, if it's good for something I think you can't actually hunt in this game at least not yet I'm pretty sure that will be available later on in the game and we also need you know what I'm gonna drop these sticks because uh, I need a lot of space inventory I need this this one's also need a lot of them, they only stack up in 7 so I'm not gonna take more of them more than 7, like one more and that's it we need one more stump, most which I haven't been able to find okay, we are back in here at the, the other side that it's quite close to the base the main base and we're gonna try to get more planks because we are gonna need more hopefully there are nothing here I'm not gonna bother with seeds right now because they are gonna kinda fill up your inventory and you need a lot of room more important stuff right now Im see what did I tell you so I'm gonna eat this take the freaking pipe okay let's take everything we can the pipes are quite important bolts I don't have room for racks 
which means I'm kind of discarding that one because the rags are more important. Okay. More rope, more planks. I think I should probably have enough of them. I'm not gonna take the seeds because a blueprint. Uh, we are now having. I think that was the axe actually. You can't take this one, it's kind of bugged. I tried everything I could. That pipe is so freaking important, but you can't. There is no way you can actually get it. There is something that will block you. You can't actually go inside this uh, thing. So, and from outside, it's not enough, I think. You simply can't take it. Doesn't matter. This is the seed that I actually don't need. You can sleep and pass the night if you want to. Oh my god, that is actually pretty important. So that pipe. So I know what to do because I kind of played for a while, as I said, off camera. And I have idea how to to actually play it. I still got room now. No room in my inventory so I kinda want to head back home but I still need one more stamp moss which I haven't been able to find. Can I take this? No. Inventory full. Oh and this is actually important. This or whatever it's called. So there is nothing I can give up for my inventory. I'm gonna leave it. I don't think that it's all damage yet because I kind of jumped from uh, all cliffs. And I haven't, I didn't get any fall damage. Yellow. There is a lot of stuff to to actually gather, but the the inventory is pretty damn annoying as hell. You never have enough room in your inventory, so that may be <laughs> annoying. They don't stack up as they should. They only stack in very small quantities, the items you get. So I guess that's actually the main uh, the main issue. I'm uh, away from the base because I'm kind of trying to find the... Uh, another uh, stamp moss. This is another beehive. They also don't stack, I, I mean literally you get like, if you find two beehives, you only get like, uh, you get one uh, honey and one uh, whatever is called, the, the wax, bee wax, and that might be a big problem, and I'm gonna tell you right now why. It's because they don't stack up, so from each, each beehives occupies you two, s two slots in your inventory. Oh, it's actually night and you die, uh, by the way, you die very easily in this game. If you get the uh, caught outside during the night, you're gonna die for freezing. And also from hunger, you just have to pay attention to the hunger. Okay. Let's see what we can uh, do with uh, the inventory issue, like that. I'm gonna keep, I actually need those planks in my inventory. See, they don't stack, they st only stack in 10, which is kind of bad. I'm only missing uh, one stump moss, but it's not a problem. We are gonna find it eventually. Eh, hooray, we are in day two. <laughs> 
day two, save the game because it's pretty damn important. So let's drop this one over there for now. And let's freaking try to find another stamp mod. There has to be one on this side of the map. As far as I can remember. But who knows. Has to be one somewhere around here. Okay. I don't want to craft my own uh, the axe this episode and unlock the crafting room, the workbench and stuff like that. The only dangerous animals for now are the bears. They will probably add more while they keep developing the game, you know. But for now we are only... See? It told me... It just told me that there is a bear. He is guarding that site over there. The bear can actually easily kill you. But the AI is not that well developed. I mean, uh, if it's still gonna hit you once and then it will gonna let you live. But since we don't have any bandages, we are not gonna screw with the bear. Uh, it will gonna make you bleed and then you're gonna die. It's that simple. So we finally found what we need, what we are looking for. And maybe I can trick the bear somehow and steal some of his loot. They usually guard uh, those sites in which you get, uh, from which you can get uh, better uh, loot and. Uh, the blueprints, that's uh, actually... If I screw this up, I'm gonna regret it a lot. <laughs> so run away, run, because he's actually... He just saw... Okay, I'm gonna die. Of course I'm going to freaking die. Unless I get back home as fast as possible and save the game. Which might be achievable by the time I die. I will die. I'm not gonna bother with anything else. My goal is to get back home by the time I lose my health because I don't have any backpacks, any health packs. And I'm gonna lose everything, so. It seems that actually is dropping low, slowly. The health, but it's dropping. I need stamina now. Oh my god, I'm so freaking close. If I manage to get back home and save the game, and probably clear out my inventory before dying, because you lose the inventory, there is no backpack after you die <laughs> to recover. You just load the last save and that's all. So drop this, this, this. Okay, that's all I have. Now uh, save the progress. And uh, what else, what else? I need... Uh, in order to make... I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Let's go over here. Got it. Save the progress. Drop everything else back there and I need two rags and I need to get here and I need to help med kit craft item come on faster take that use and we got saved we just got saved <laughs> I kinda was scary because uh I was thinking that I'm going to die, so luckily we managed to escape. Now, what can we do? We can make resources, but not now. We need this one first. So we need four rope. You can actually... This is very important thing. As you can see, you actually see what you need. So two steel wires, jute rope. Is this one? 
I don't even know what the hell is it. No. It's this one. Uh, bolts, steel wire, whatever. I already forgot. And uh, steel wire too. Let's make the axe and craft it. Okay, so as you can see, we already find this one. I'm gonna make the lockpick too, and everything else is actually locked. I lost uh, the rags for the map, but I'm gonna find more. So first, now I need this lockpick. So I need uh, actually let's do this. I need one bolt, two nails, two steel pipes. One, two, one, two, one. Let's make that one. Bang! We have the lockpick. Obtained one lockpick. The funny part with the lockpick is that it's actually occupy you one. Uh, it will occupy one of your <laughs> freaking inventory slots which is so bad so as you can see here we can uh, place more backpacks you know one two three and so on so as soon as as possible i need to make more of them so now even the axe it's actually getting some of your freaking space you know that's actually bad okay save the game and let's go for this place over here the closest one I don't think you can actually kill the bear stuff like that because I tried to uh, kill a rabbit and the axe don't uh, didn't kill it it's actually didn't don't it's like don't make damage to the rabbits at, or animals at all so as you can see now we're having the lock pit we can get more loot and finally all the rags i need two of them for the map i need to grab the map okay hopefully we'll be able to find another one yeah nice great more nails i think there is one crate up there No. Wiley. Okay. There is one more crate that I need to use the axe on it. It was somewhere up here, but oh, it's right here next to me. Bang! More steel wire. And that's it for now. I mean, uh, this is a pretty damn good start for. Uh, Still got like three more space, three slots in my freaking inventory. I kind of want to loot the other place too. The stuff in the will respawn actually after a while. Not sure the exact uh, time, but uh, those uh, places respawn at a certain point of the game. I don't know how much, how long it takes until they respawn, but do they? they do respawn so yeah it's actually a pretty good game I kind of like it it's nice game it's not a bad game by any means but it's still a very 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 early access and uh, there's not that much content not yet I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of content in the future into this game not sure what can I take from this place but uh, I'll probably gonna drop some of the stuff that I have in my inventory to get the more important stuff like bolts, nails and rope and stuff like that and I got some map, a map hint actually told you it, it will tell you where to find some uh, very important uh, loot Oh, 
Oh, I had I actually had room for that. No way. What I give up? I'm gonna eat this one and take the steel pipe. Never miss the steel pipes. They are way too important. He, I guess in this one it's just a seed, from which I don't have room anymore. So that's it. I looted this place too. Everything will respawn later on in the game. Let's take all the stuff and head back for the base and craft the map because the map it's also an important uh, item to have. I can't wait for the bow and stuff like that so, I, so you can hunt uh, those things. There are deers, rabbits and bears. That's all the animals I found so far. Okay. We are back home. I'm kind of getting tired. Uh, by the way, using the axe, cut you can cut trees, and cutting trees, you're gonna get planks and sticks, a lot of them. So don't bother in getting a ton of sticks because uh, you're gonna screw up your inventory, and you're gonna get a lot of them. Take a look. Bang! Three planks, two sticks from one tree. Okay, I need to drop, uh, okay, let's drop that, that. There is not that much room left in my inventory. I have three legs, which will help me to craft my map. I need black mulberries. I think I have two of them. Maybe even more, yeah. Great, see? It's easy. Making the map, and then bang, we have the map. And now we see the place. See, this place is here is very important because you're gonna get um, uh, some resign or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what, but there is an important uh, thing. He, here is the cooking room, and this one is the storage room, the storage attic. I kind of want to unlock this one too. It too, it's not that hard actually. I have everything that I need. I only need some planks, so let's take some uh, some of them. I'm not gonna bother with sticks. They don't. I don't think they actually despawn from the ground. They kind of stay there for quite a while, so don't bother in saving them. You can only cut this tree, the other ones you can't, this one, for example, you can't cut this one, only, I think this one is also, on, uh, yeah, only the b those big ones, these are the only ones you can actually cut. In this way, I'm gonna gather a lot of plants. As you may you saw for the storage room you need a lot of them. You need like 20, 28 planks. And a lot of stamina. I can't wait for the hunt. We need a bow and we need the table to hunt the rabbit. And probably, no, I don't want the stick, but it doesn't matter. You need sticks for cooking, for when you cook. You need a lot of them, so. Okay. Because uh, you need, you know, in order to cook food, you need to put some sticks into your stove. That's it's actually important to get some of the sticks. 
Actually, let's take some stuff. Uh, because uh, very soon we're gonna unlock the storage room and uh, we're gonna have enough room for uh, storing some of our stuff. I kind of cut all the trees in this area. Let's cut this one too. I, can, I like the sounds, I like the animation. It's pretty damn good game. They started uh, well. Hopefully they will keep it like that. Until the end of the... Early access. Uh, yeah, this one is gonna fall into the. That's stupid as hell. I mean, can I get at least some of the stuff? No, you can't. Everything is inside that. I'm gonna cut one more because uh, the night is here and I'm gonna uh, die of freezing. They also need to solve this and uh, somehow. Protect the loot because they kind of go inside the rocks for now. And that's kind of bad, I guess. One more, one more. I'm not sure if I have 10 to eat, but I don't think I have enough for the storage room. starving and by the way you can't actually go to sleep uh, while we are hungry it, you need to actually see too hungry to sleep so I'm gonna get full and then I'm gonna sleep and then I'm gonna save the game and so on so <coughs> my Fatigue bar, it's full. Save the game, and that's it, guys. So, I actually have enough planks. Next episode, I'm gonna unlock the storage, and we're gonna go further for the kitchen, and so on. There is a, this kitchen, and then is a greenhouse, and so on, so on. Thank you all, guys, for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And as usual, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Thank you all guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.